It was a day to celebrate our country for Syracuse resident Becky Thatcher. And to be able to have all these wonderful children and grandchildren to share what we have living in America. A much different mood than when Thatcher was here for the parade last year. You, you cannot take life for granted. Thatcher is speaking about the incident involving eight-year-old Macy Hill. The young cheerleader, described as a little girl who would light up a room when she walked into it, was hit and killed during the town's annual 4th of July parade last year. It's really very hard to know that just like that you can, you know, lose someone very, very special in your life. While it has been a year now since Macy's death, she hasn't been forgotten. At the front of this year's parade was a banner with Macy's picture. Leading the cars, people, and eventually the floats down Kaysville's Main Street. Well, those who participated in the parade tell me that the parade director sent out an email ahead of Tuesday's 4th of July parade asking people to wear pink ribbons, Macy's favorite color. It made me happy because I thought we can do something to, to show our love and support for them. Felt like a way that we could show support for that family mm -hmm. um, in just a small way. It was really an honor to be part of it. Ellen King and Annika Jensen had one of the 55 entries in this year's parade. Those who rode along with them and even the truck pulling their float had plenty of pink along with it. We were in the parade today behind a group of cheerleaders who've had mm -hmm. pink ribbons in mm -hmm. all of their hair. And every time I yep. caught a glimpse of them, I, it just felt like I was part of something bigger. A small yet special way to honor Macy's memory. Does that warm your heart that yes. she's being honored today? You better believe it does. That's the way it should be, to reach out. In Kaysville, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.